check out Adam once again. Of course, we all know Batman. Like I said, it's rated one dark night with the highest stars too, man. And I lost the page. Of course, there's Steve and Julie having a good time on the. This is actually on the parents' handwalk. I was no longer there. I think that they said a, a tornado destroyed it. It was just no longer there. An earthquake, whatever, something like that. They were having a good time. Riding the bumper cars. Leo Gorshi Jr. Yep, yep, that's the guy, the paramedic, the one paramedic. Whatever his name was, we'll have to check out again. They say it real quick. I forget. Now they got they got the booth to take it and get pictures of yourself. All this romantic music they got. Carol's jealous because Steve left her because she's kind of a bitch and she he's with Joy now. He's with and she's kind of an outcast. So yeah, Adam West died 17 June 19, 27, 88. Yep, he had altitude sickness. Lives in Idaho. He, Something else was wrong, he got rushed to the hospital, and I guess he died not long after. Mm. He has 202 credits, like, I, it's ridiculous, I'm not surprised. And... Take off her clothes and dive in the ocean. No, come on, seriously! <laughs> he's joking, it's joking with her, it's fun. Yeah, he's just explaining the stewardship, he doesn't understand it, but he's on the <laughs> basketball team. He's the captain. He gets to make the USC team when I graduate. Why? Get back to the freaking six. I gotta really go back here. Yeah, see, she knows he's gonna start this. He knows she's gonna start this crap. Why they're such jerks? You can belong to any group at school. He was a lawman, in Adam West. Wow, you didn't know that. Why well, he was in that Three Stooges movie? The Western. What the hell was that called? Ah, it was in the early sixties. Had Adam West and some other actress. I like. I gotta look at that again. I forgot. I haven't even watched it yet. I didn't mean you are. Yeah, see, she's not gonna. She. He thinks it's stupid. She doesn't. Wants to, he doesn't understand it because he's different. He he's just I part of a college team. Say she's. He doesn't think there's anything wrong with her. She doesn't. Hey, Julie, yeah, he doesn't going? understand his right. <laughs> no, I, I think she's an amazing actress. Her Jen, oh, excuse me, her Jennifer Tilly. Of course, her sister is Meg. Excuse me, Jen, Meg Tilly. Of course, her sister is Jennifer Tilly, which is. Well, I guess she's sexier in a way. I don't know. She's definitely maybe prettier, but so is Meg Tilly's really beautiful. And she's such a good actress. She took more diverse art roles, character or character driven roles. You really get into to all the say on the commentary that they, they dance together at a party because her sister isn't like Jennifer's like a big kid, like, and she's more mature and more my type of woman, uh, Meg Tilly. And she gets in her character, like, which we'll talk about later here. I like she looks really sexy in those heels and her feet and then I didn't really pay attention to that before in this dark stockings. Here we go, Doc Stater, Donald Hotton. Mrs. McKenna, my name is Samuel. He's not gonna want this. He thinks she's trying to get publicity. Adam West Allen. Alan McKenna. Gotta get off my property so he doesn't like him. Yeah, see she's like wants to talk to him. He's looking at her like this. Look at his fucking face. He's so good. He looked at John saying, I think he's good, man. I, can't, I don't know. He was saying the acting's dated, the hair. And I love the 80s. I don't in the music. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, he's awesome. Adam West again. Was due to an obsession with 62, that movie is from. Well, he was in a law, man. What the hell did he do? That's, you know that's with um, Jim Brown, John Russell, and Peggy Castle the first season, the second. Everybody knows how much I love her. Young Phil Delpy. Oh, yeah, Bill Lawrence. He gets killed to be. I remember that with Barbara Rush, Paul Newman, and um, Diane Brewster from Mrs. She was on Leave at the Beaver, even one of the teachers in the, some of the beginning of the series. Yeah, this is this is real curly photography, the director Tom McLaughlin said. We're all Chris Omar, yep, Colonel Dan McRae. It's a great sci fi movie. Byron Haskin directed, scripted by Melchior. Ip Melchior, I mean, I'm Monster Bash. No, he's got his wife clear. Oh, look, see, he doesn't think he just thinks it's stupid. He doesn't want to hear about it. He's sitting there drinking his wine in a glass. And they use this real person's house they shot it, and they they said they left for the days that they shot it, and they shot it on a street in California. And we'll talk more about when when they get into the start with the 
bedrooms. I don't know when that scene comes about what that what goes on what hap what actually exactly they did for that scene. The outlaw is coming. Sixty five. Yep. Tenth cabin. And of course, Batman, Bruce Wayne. We all Have know you ever that. Known who's left you Batgirl TV pilot, sixty-seven with Yvonne Craig. Of course, the best Batgirl. Do new too much. Here is Nancy Kwan, Johnny King, C A N E, C A I N. I mean, Raymar found that he could drain he's not Night Gallery. He's a man exceeded. That's a really good show with them. They say he doesn't believe it. Those girls of life. With um, Mike Connors also does Touch Connors. Loved working for Roger Corman. He said he'd give him a bigger check and he lied, said that he there frightened his victim to an incredible And he had to do it because he treated him really well, so I forget exactly specific thing. He, Mike Connors worked for um or excuse me, made movies for us to say for Roger Corman. Which is a legendary filmmaker and I love his stuff. Yeah, see the RKO Poverty Rose stuff. Val Luton the RKO classic horror vintage classic horse to say the the cat people. You know, Leopard Man all the dead, all that good stuff with Boris Karloff and Ellen Drew. That was did. Valet did so many good producer stuff in arcade. Did so many good films. Listen to this in private. 